hello everyone we are back and this is our video part 17 on um, previous video let's bring the image configuration template we did the configuration features template and we also have a device template and this video we're going to attach a device into those um device templates all right as i have mentioned this is just click on these three dots attach devices this is site one we have here but before that i don't know if you noticed i made a mistake in one of the templates and that will be this template here edit and i forgot to give a name of the vpn here so i left as a default so it's a global so transport vpn for the hq okay update it's perfect it's, once we update it here we will automatically update the template that you imported to a device template okay let's go device one so here you can put input everything that you want from here one by one go another way through or you just click on those three dots edit template and bring it this modern window if i say okay so let's let's be a little bit quick on this one console default one site so if you want to be sure you don't make a mistake or you do what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just launch these two devices. Just wait. Okay. So this is a CH login. And this is a Cisco login. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just get some information for the BGP routing protocol here and here. I'll get some information for the site system and the IP of the interface. Okay, so now let's go back to template. Site is gonna be one, one four. Site is gonna be one vh hyphen one. If you notice here, it's only site one hyphen vh one. So on the new one, I added a hyphen here, okay? On the template. So BGP 65001, let us confirm. Uh, HQ, BGP 6501, okay? I'm happy with that. Color, just leave us a default. IP address of the interface to here. Oh, why keep give me this? And the neighbor one P is gonna be the one and we go DNS update next and if you click here we'll launch the configuration that you have and the configuration that you want to apply if you go to config difference side by side it's make it easier so as you can see the host name and that will be at this one here so console bound rate we don't have it here it's gonna be added here this is going to be taken away, it's going to be the same, same. It's going to add this information that is not here. This is here, color, default, and this is going to be taken away. Okay, configure template. So you can refresh and wait to be done. But you can also go to your secret CRT if you go enter. You can see I've already changed from this 
do this okay so now let's see if we go our BGP up with our neighbor it's not yet let's wait to be completed it's not established yet let's go here seems something is wrong it's a good opportunity for troubleshooting so what we do here as you can see has been pushed successfully let's go to template and we look for the BGP and see if anything is missing here now shut down let's go to this and then you can see the neighbor did not save as I mentioned earlier so I'm gonna do neighbor description remote global that's a good opportunity for troubleshooting so add and update it's gonna take you to a template again and I'll ask you to add a few more device information here and remote and now update next and config now if you go back to secure CRT soon the BGP will come up and that will be our feature so let's wait let's see it's idle and now establish as you can see here BGP is up and uh, we go a notification here also so if you do RP BGP summary we can see the BGP has been established so that would that will be all for this video on the next video we're gonna uh, template we're gonna touch a device on site too and we're gonna see how it goes i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for staying with me so far